Well, I'm 12 years old. Um, I'm the youngest out of my family. Um, I love soccer. My favorite color is pink. And that's it. You are now officially a member of the program, right? Woo! Little yeah. Involved through Camp Sunshine. Uh, they offered the Team Impact last year and told us about it. Um, we thought, oh, that would be a good idea. This year we went back to Camp Sunshine um, and decided we would like to apply. And there were some other campers there who are involved in Team Impact and had nothing but good things to say and shared their experiences. And we thought it would be a really great thing for Katie to do. Um, so we applied. Uh, the coordinator called me, we spoke, talked about Katie, her interests, our family life, and just kind of everything that goes along with it. And it was kind of like an instant, okay, let's do snoo women's soccer. So we said that would be perfect. You know, it's close proximity. We know some kids there. We're familiar with the facilities. That would be great. So we got matched with them and couldn't have been happier. <laughs> We've been hoping to get uh, matched up for a couple of seasons, a couple of years. Um, and we were watching uh, some of the teams around us uh, get matched up and, and felt a little jealous, uh, to be honest. But uh, the call came in uh, right away. We, you know, we, we got back to our representative uh, at, at Team Impact and, and uh, inquired about how quickly we can, we can meet uh, Katie. Um, and we didn't even want to or need to hear too much about her. Uh, we just knew that uh, it was gonna it was gonna be a, a good thing for us, and uh, hoping that you know whoever we were matched up with uh, would feel that way as well. Katie is 12 years old. Uh, she has what's called Allergy Syndrome. Um, it's a disease that affects her whole body. She had a liver transplant when she was three. Um, and then when she was four and five, she had brain surgeries. And when she was five still, uh, she had cancer as a result of her transplant. Um, she was tube fed by a G-tube for, gosh, probably 10 years. Um, as of right now, she's as healthy as she can be. Um, she's growing and thriving and is no longer tube fed and has been in remission for quite some time now and is doing remarkable. The moment that they met in the locker room, um, there were laughs, you know, a few nerves obviously. Um, it was, what was really moving was um, hearing uh, Bethany talk about what Katie's been through. And I think that opened up um, our, our players' eyes and, and hearts for sure. They had a big party in the locker room which we got kicked out of. <laughs> and she spent time with the girls. And then, oh, she had picture day, which was a blast. She had a great time doing that with everybody. Um, and now her signing day. So we're looking forward to lots more events and some home games and some potlucks and some other events that they're doing. So she's super excited to hang out with the girls. And if she had it her way, she would be at every practice. <laughs> Hopefully she'll be our good luck charm uh, during all of the home games, or as many as they can attend. Uh, we'll have some uh, team activities that we'll do off the field as well that uh, we'll certainly look, her, look to uh, get her involved in. Uh, she'll be in the locker room uh, pre and post games uh, if, you know, if, if uh, time allows. And um, you know, we're just, again, she's, she'll be as integrated as we can get her um, as a member of the team for sure. Go Penman! Yeah.